The upper limb neural tension 2A biases the radial nerve. With the patient in neutral and having taught her already how to side flex her head without rotating to each side, she's off the bed so that her hips are still and her lower body is still very stable on the bed, but that you can get your thigh at the top of the shoulder to prevent the shoulder from elevating. Do not excessively depress this as that's dangerous to the brachial plexus. Then you are going to extend the elbow and you need a hand to maintain this extension because without trying, the patient will protectively just slightly bend the elbow and it has to stay in full extension. So full extension of the elbow and then you are going to medially rotate the shoulder, pronate the forearm, flex the wrist and the fingers. And you can already see the elbow wants to bend. So then you recheck that you've got that elbow locked out straight. Drop it down to the level of the bed and start to abduct until you start to feel either the shoulder trying to elevate or the patient says, I can feel it there. And where do you feel it? Uh, kind of at the front of my forearm. Front of the forearm. Can you take your right ear towards your right shoulder? Does that change your symptoms at all? Yes. And you can come back. How did it change your symptoms? Symptoms got stronger. And what happens if you bring your left ear towards your left shoulder? Symptoms got less. And you can go back to neutral. So it is obviously not her forearm muscles that got tense because the movement of the head changed it, which means that it was a neural structure, such as the radial nerve, that was on tension.